Hi guys, Joe Kelly here. Today we're going to be talking about um, uh, moments where you don't get any audition or maybe you never feel like you get any audition or not enough. So that's the topic we're going to be talking about today. Um, we're going to look at what you have maybe tried in the past, what actors usually focus on when they have no, audi no auditions and what you can actually do about it. And when actors have no auditions, it can really sometimes feel like it's blocking you, like you're doomed. Like if you have no auditions, well then nothing can happen, right? So there can be a lot of frustration that's going on if you don't have um, any auditions. Uh, you can maybe sit around and wait a lot and feel like it's it's not you, it's not your fault because auditions have to come, up, uh, come from the outside. So you, kind of have to wait and that's unfair and that's hard. A lot of the, you know, the, the belief that the acting world is a hard world comes from that fact too, that we need auditions to work and they come from the outside and therefore it's hard because we don't have any say about it. Um, so in short, it's often what I hear actors say that is that it's often other people's fault What's other people's responsibility? What's the industry's responsibility that you don't have any auditions? Or it's the place where you live and that's why you don't have enough auditions. So I get that. Um, I get that you can be in that place and I get that it can feel like you're stuck and that it's unfair and that it's hard and that it's not working. And if only you had auditions, then everything would change, right? Let's go step by step. The first thing that I see actors do um, when they have no auditions is that they work a lot on their headshot because the headshot is what gets you into the office to be seen. And so I see a lot of actors do and redo and redo their headshots. Um, I see a lot of actors hustle to get an agent um, and they make that the priority. Like if I have a good agent, then I'll have auditions and it all depends on them, right? And without a good agent, then it can't work. I also see a lot of actors who are self-submitting a lot. So whatever they can get their hands on, they'll self-submit and try to get auditions that way. So I understand that reaction as a, as a very human reaction to the fact that you don't have any auditions, but I would, what I would like to do for today is really look at the problem itself and the reason why you don't have any auditions so that we can reverse engineer the whole thing and then you can start taking care of it. The first thing, the number one thing you need to be taking care of is your, uh, what is it called in the industry? Your raw material, right? So if I'm making bread and I don't have any flour or a flour that you know inflates or whatever when I make bread, I won't have any bread. You're an actor, so if you don't have a completely open, juicy, fully alive, open, flowing, instinctive, and free instrument, you, you don't have an actor, right? So without that first ingredient, nothing in the chain of events after that can happen. So the way it works is you have and make yourself an extraordinary instrument. So if you don't have that yet, take care of that number one priority, because if you don't, you have half an instrument, and then from there, you're going to take headshots, which are only going to be like half headshots of what you could possibly offer in terms of presence and aliveness in the session. And then after your headshot, you're going to make a reel. If you're making a reel with a half an instrument, and I'm saying half, maybe it's a quarter of an instrument if you're not completely free and open. Maybe it's even a tenth of your instrument. So let's say you try to make a reel with this much of your instrument, you're going to have a reel that represents this much of your talent and not the whole version of you, right? When you have your headshot and your reel, you're going to start looking for an agent. And if you're looking for an agent with a headshot that is using that much of your talent and a reel that's using that much of your talent, you'll find an agent that represents that much of what you would like for an agent because you, you don't have the pieces in place to get that agent, right? And then that agent will send you to auditions that are this much matching your instrument too, right? And then you'll book them this amount of time and then that will be sent back to your agent. So you're looping downwards, right? So 
the first and only thing you need to be starting to take care of in the first place, the number one thing you want to make sure works is your raw material. Your raw material is your instrument. If you feel blocked, if you feel that nerves are taking over, if you feel that you're trying to do it right, or you're afraid to do it wrong, or you're afraid to be stuck in the text, or you're in control, or you're people pleasing, or you're trying to be liked by the casting director, or you're trying to do what the director says, any version of this means that you are not fully free, open, and available. If you don't have that you present, none of the steps afterwards will make any sense. So the reason you don't have any auditions is not because there's no auditions, is not because you don't have the right agent, is not because the industry is hard, it's not because of all those things, is because you haven't been taken care of the first thing. One, that first thing is incredible, is extraordinary, is 100% alive, whole, complete. Once you can show up as the full, complete version of yourself, that when you take a headshot, you are so present and magnetic that the camera can capture that. And when people look at your headshot, they stop because you're more present than anything else that they've seen. You, you can check that. Once you have a free instrument, so open and alive and unique that you can determine what are your essences, what you're about, and that you can put that in a reel and in every single scene that matches your essence, you manage to show up fully because you have an extraordinary instrument, then you have an eye-stopping reel because your reel suddenly is, is not just a couple of scenes edited together that look like you, it's extraordinary. You are so present that it's vibrating, just like in any movie or in any play that you say, that you see when an actor is open, free and alive, you cannot take your eyes off them. Well, casting cannot take their eyes off you either. The agents cannot take their eyes off you either. So you have a magnetic headshot. You have an incredible reel where you're exploding each scene in your reel. You're not just doing a good job. You're extraordinary. Inevitably, you get the agent that you're looking for. You get the agent that is excited about you. You get an agent that wants to go out there and pitch you because they know what they have. They know what they've seen. They know what you're capable of, right? So when you have that agent and they pitch you and they send that extraordinary reel, casting wants to see you. There's no negotiation there because most people out there do not have a 100% instrument. They go the traditional routes or the generic routes. They'll study a method, they study acting, they'll get professional at the art of faking. But when you can actually be fully alive and completely present and real and authentic in the room, that's what people are looking nowadays. We're not looking for actors anymore. That's like three generations back. We're looking for the real thing. We're looking for life. When you can bring that in the room, you nail your audition. People want to have you even if you don't correspond with the role. They will write something for you. They'll call you back for something else. They'll add some lines. They'll change your name if you're not the right race. They'll make it yours. And if it doesn't work for this one, they'll call you back. Casting directors are crazy about people who can come in and actually be 100% themselves. And of course, most of you guys can't because you've been conditioned not to. You've been conditioned out of your instinct, out of your freedom, so that you would fit society, the norms, the culture. So when you've been asked to not feel, you've been asked to not think, you've been asked to listen and follow and do as you're told. So that has nothing to do with freedom. That has nothing to do with being. That's the opposite. So when you have all those pieces together, number one being an extraordinary instrument, it's like a domino effect. Your headshot will be extraordinary. Your reel will be extraordinary. Inevitably, you'll find the agent that is excited about you, who can pitch you with that excitement, who can get you in the room. You show up in an audition and you are extraordinary. So you book the job and then you loop back. And that comes back with your agent, who's more excited, who pitches you better, who gets you a better audition 
who gets you and then you get the role and then it goes back etc and then you spiral upwards okay so um to sum things up what i want you to have the opportunity to do is instead of being stuck in i don't have any auditions so nothing's gonna work and there's nothing i can do about it and, and it's hard and so i shouldn't train because what's the point i don't have any auditions um and instead of putting all your money and your effort in pieces further down the chain that are supposedly trying to get you some auditions, go to your number one most important thing, which is your raw material. It's you. Invest your time and money in you. When you are 100%, it will affect all of the pieces. Headshot, reel, agent, audition, booking, back. Agent, audition, booking, back. Agent, audition, booking, back, and you spiral upwards.